you. What's good? It's your boy Rico, and guess what? It's the Dragon Gym, and we got the secret sauce to beat the stupid goddamn round team. Now, I'm going to show you a match of me destroying the round team. Okay, it's half of the round team. It's three Wiggly Tufts. I actually got smacked by three Wiggly Tufts, two Sylveons, and a Whimsicott. Fucking hit, doing attacks at 250. It's completely absurd. I almost won the game, though, because of my plan that I implement in this game that you guys are about to find out. So pay attention, okay? All right, so I think he gets first move. Bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, he gets first move. Mango Man. <clears throat> and what he's gonna do is he's gonna move up his uh, Gabite, Gabit, Gabite, Gabite, on the left side. So what I do, don't make fun of my deck. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this dragon deck because I don't know who to use and what to use. Anyways, I bring up my Gabite, Gabit, Gabite, Gabite. I bring him up just to challenge his and uh, force him to move. I was just checking out his Gumi. I didn't know what Gumi could do. Brings up Xerneas and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to bring up my Sligu. Sligu's, Sligu's the trick. Him or Meowth. Okay. So, I think, okay. So, right now he's just kind of setting up. And I take this opportunity to kind of set up too. And here I was trying to like use a plate. And I'm like, why the fuck can I not use plates? I had no idea why I couldn't use plates, and it was frustrating me. It was pissing me off. So I took this opportunity. I believe I moved Shuppet right behind my Gabit. Gabite. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sh I'm just not going to say his name anymore. And then I believe he takes this opportunity just to bring up his Wigglytuff on some more. And then I go to my plates again because I want a hurdle. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Why can't I hurdle? It's got to be something to do with Wigglytuff. Click on Wiggly Tuff and look at his ability. The next turn after using this book, when your opponent will be unable to use plates with his hypnotic voice. So I'm like, makes sense. Which makes Wiggly Tuff even more annoying. Which makes the round deck even more annoying. It's in, it's insane. Anyway, I just decided to take this opportunity. Move up by Brava because I really, I don't know really what to do. I'm just trying to get good position, I guess. It brings his Gumi on board. I'm not going to really do anything to his Gumi. I decided to bring up um, my Giratina. I I don't know why I have Giratina. I just, because he's a dragon, it's the Dragon League. I'm trying to figure out what he can do because he has an ability that can move adjacent space over to the next Pokemon. I'm still trying to figure it out, okay? So just bear with me. Anyway, I bring up my Dragonair up to challenge his Wigglytuff. He goes and attacks me, gets the pound, which is, I luckily I didn't hit the fucking round, which completely annihilate me. He still beats me, but I get the Dragon Tail, which is good because Dragon Tail knocks him back to the bench and they gain weight. So then, takes the opportunity to put my Shuppet on the goal. Now, he has to put his uh, Wigglytuff on the goal. And I'm like, this is perfect. This sets me up to use the Hurdle Jump and trap the, yeah, him. We're just going to say him. To trap him. But, I check and I'm like, oh, I forgot. I can't use plates, god damn it. So, I just kind of play a little conservative here. I'm just like, I'm just going to back off my Vibrava. I just want to kind of wait for my opponent to make a mistake. Now he's got all three Wigglytuffs on board. They do, it does 120 when it hits around. I'm like, shit, this is not good. I have to wait for him to either attack with Xerneas or with Gumi before I can actually start doing something. Start making plays. Because that's what I do. He attacks it with Gumi. He gets to flail. I get the Dragon Breath. I'm like, peace, bro. Not only do I take you out, it's time for Flygon to come on the board. Okay, Flygon doesn't get to come on the board that often as much as Titar does back in the road to Master's League. So I'm pretty happy. I t immediately take this opportunity, get that hurdle jump, and I'm like, see you later. Garchomp's lower form. Peace. Take him out. So now, what I'm do what he does here is... I think he, yeah, he challenges me with Wigglytuff. And I get the Draco, which is good. Now, Draco, if you don't know, I get to choose one Pokemon to spin. If they spin a miss or attack above 70 on the white, they get knocked out. And I chose to do the Wigglytuff on the goal. Because, I mean, if I take the Wigglytuff out on the goal, I win. Now, Xerneas, I don't know if he has a base attack that... Yeah, if he has a base attack that attacks higher, I think he does. But it's more beneficial for me to take out the Wigglytuff because I want him to attack with Xerneas so I can do the next move, which is the plan to end the round deck. He attacks me again. I get the Draco again. Just go for the Wiggly Tove on the goal. He gets Sing. And I'm like, well, we just have to wait for Xerneas to make a mistake. We have to wait for Mango Man to make a mistake. He has to attack with Xerneas before I can implement this plan. So I just move up my uh, Garchomp's lower form. 
Here I'm just checking out uh, Draco because for some reason I thought Draco, if you spawn a um, purple, it works. He attacks with Xerneas. I'm like, yes, it is over. Even though he took me out, it doesn't matter because I'm going to rely on RNG because RNG wins me the game. Double chance, that's what you need. Double chance, and you need Sligu or Meowth because they have an attack. Meowth is fake out. Sligu is a slippery swap. I get the fill. I'm like, shit, I got to hit it here. Double chance. Slippery swap. He's on the goal. Not anymore. We switch in. Look at him. He's like, what's up? Game over. Mango Man, peace. Fuck your round deck. And I don't want to say fuck you. Good games, bro. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that game. That is the key to beating that deck. Uh, double chances and Sligu or Meowth. I hope you liked it. Peace.